the first thing we need to understand in our identity is that faith is how we get our identity it is by believing in what the father calls us god says because you have accepted jesus christ you are righteous you say yes how many of you know you are righteous i know your mind is still telling you that you did something last night forget it forget it if you get what i'm talking about you will be delivered i am telling you i'm not teaching you god wise tables or something i've not experienced i know myself there is no goodness in any one of us no goodness at all except we just put up an appearance in church and we, and we are like this bless you except the son set you free sir you are not free from the bondage of iniquity the bondage of sin is so strong that no matter how you strive your nature will show you that so you can't cheat it some of you who are students before have you ever been trying to study and sleep came upon you like a thief no matter how you struggle that guy that has no gun he overpowers you that is all nature you cannot cheat nature except that god activate a divine nature within you is somebody following me this morning you cannot live by your own righteousness except you receive the righteousness of god as a gift see the law of gravity will always bring you down except you begin to operate by a higher law the bible talks about that the fact that you as a believer you are no longer living under the law of sin and death but you are living under the law of the spirit of life in christ jesus there is a spirit of life activates our mortal body to live above sin there is a spirit of life that animates your heart to do right things you will never win that fight by struggle praise god he says so does david congratulate what we read in Psalm 32 is what Paul is referencing in Romans chapter 4. He said, God, David, congratulate, help me congratulate your neighbor, say congratulate. Because you don't know what I'm talking about until you get it. This is something to rejoice about. Because in yourself, you will never be good enough for God. Are you listening to me? In yourself, you will never be good enough. David said, congratulations, 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 my friend. Congratulations. To the man and then he pronounces a blessing on him to whom god credits righteousness hallelujah that is credit it is you that you are not using it and you see there is nothing that is painful than for you to have suffered only to find out later that what you suffered for has been paid for i tell you the story of a man who entered business class he didn't know that business class comes to everything not just two, but you can relax the chair. He, he, he looked around and saw others sleeping, but he didn't know that he could bend his chair and relax in that business class and sleep for good. When the trip was done, they now told him that he could also have done his chair like that. You will feel bad when you eventually discover that you've been suffering for nothing. You've been suffering guilt, condemnation for nothing. That God was not condemning you, you are the one condemning yourself. Some of you think that it is by crying and bringing cut out of your nose that's why god now forgives you hey yeah uh, sorry sorry eh? sorry you will get it if you allow god to teach you you will get it it is not sin is not something that you can say i'm sorry for if it was by i'm sorry these people don't need to come are you listening to me if sin could be sorted by I cried, I now rolled on the floor, I went to the south, I went to the east, my throat is now dusty. <laughs> and now, God, I'm okay now. It is not like that. God has to punish your sin upon Jesus. It is by punishing your sin upon Jesus that he now declared you no guilt. That you are no longer guilty. What he did was substitution. He took your sin, pulled it upon Jesus. He took the righteousness of Jesus and put it upon you. Somebody say amen. That's what he did. Let me show you some truth. Let me show you some truth. So that you will go and do Bible study yourself and know that it's not by trying. Because some of you, God has forgiven you, but you are the one that has not forgiven yourself. Say, I want to be, I want to be, I want to show God that I'm really sorry. I'm going to, I'm going to just not pray for three years or three months. So that God will know that I'm really sober. Well done. So some of you think that it is by doing. It is by it's not by doing. It is by believing right. First and foremost, when you believe right, your life will now be right. As a man thinketh in his heart. 
so he is. Blessed is the man to whom the Lord does not impute sin. He is to be envied. His whose iniquities are forgiven. Whose sins are covered and completely buried. There is a major crisis in the world today. It is a crisis of identity. Join the teaching ministry of Pastor Lua to be a Dinsi at the Emergency International Church in Hamilton, Ontario, as we resolve this crisis of identity by looking into the perfect law of liberty. You will be blessed. See you.